Apple rolls out AI narrated audiobooks, and it's probably the start of a trend. This audiobook features Madison, a digital voice based on a human narrator. Hmm. AI narrated. So what? That's yeah, like what Siri, basically, but like a different voice. Apple's digital storefronts now offer audiobooks recorded recorded by artificial narrators. I see. So it's not reading out the text in real time, but instead it's been pre-recorded so they can vet it and be like, yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Instead of humans in a sound booth, the audiobooks are listed in the Books app as narrated by Apple Books. Clicking on the information icon next to the line brings up a text box that clarifies the book is narrated by a digital voice based on a human narrator. Ooh, so they're training it based on the human voice, and then they're like, hey, we don't need a human to read mm -hmm. it. I highly doubt it's going to have the same degree of nuance, but I'm curious no. to actually check it out. But apparently it's grueling for the reader. They have to be stuck in a booth for like, you know, the, eight the, hours the and just read. Oh, you mean in a typical scenario? Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of times people prefer when the author of the book narrates I because completely agree. it seems so much yes. more personal. Uh -huh. And however, however, I will say there have been circumstances where for whatever reason, your ears are just not jiving with a particular voice. Sure. And you imagine changing it. Well, you can book. You can yeah. you, imagine you could flip between the actual narrator and then voices like Madison or Jackson. Ooh. I'm a big fan of uh, Jackson, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he's just he tickles my eardrums in a certain way. I want Homer Simpson. That artificial. Can you give me that. That AI right there. Um, OK, so over on Ars Technica, just scroll up a little bit there, Will. They listened to about an hour of the digitally uh, narrated titles. The calm tones were clear and mostly benign, and they could they could be mistaken for real human voices with a short list. And we did hear some anomalies, though. For example, an odd pronunciation of the city San Antonio. See, this is the trouble with the AI approach is you're supposed to kind of get lost in this book. Uh -huh. And if you ever hit this moment where something is mispronounced, it could kind of jog you out of it. It all yeah. depends. Like I'm one of these guys, I watch a movie and then there's something that'll be off or, or, or like there'll be some, somebody will leave a Starbucks cup, you know, like the, yeah. the Game of Thrones yeah. moment or whatever you it is. You can't leave it behind. It's always stuck in And your then head. it's just pinging my mind because uh -huh. I'm just... I only see actors and I only it's it's a really fragile and sensitive thing mm -hmm. the imagination and the ability to suspend so anyway it's pretty cool it's a cool idea is Tesla already giving up on the idea of yoke steering already already giving up 